Stephanie has asked why when she's trying to save out her renders from V-Ray and 3ds Max the JPEG looks different to the frame buffer and we're very quickly going to take a look at the scene and see why this is happening and then we're going to take a look at how we can make the save file and the frame buffer image look the same. So we're going to open up the scene that Stephanie has sent us and we're going to run an interactive render and I'm going to save this out very quickly as I'll just call it frame buffer dot jpg and we'll hit OK and I'll just open up that image and we can see that this image looks completely different to this image the exposure is way out so let's take a look here I can see that the exposure has been corrected in display correction so that would explain these images looking different Essentially, this image is without any correction. So if I change this to zero, this is basically what we're getting. And the reason for this is the exposure has been changed in the display correction. And this is display only. So it's only showing it. It's not actually on the image. So what we want to do is add an exposure adjustment layer. And we can change the exposure in here. So I believe it's on like 1.4 ish and now when we save it we can see that these images are the same so if you're struggling to get the render output and the image in the frame buffer to match then just make sure that you're adding adjustment layers to your image rather than changing things in the display correction so i hope this has helped thanks for watching